Hello, I recently posted a few TikToks about my wedding flowers, which I bought and made myself from Costco. And I got a ton of questions that I wanted to answer and go through the whole process, the pricing. I got married June of 2022 and my inspo for the wedding was very green and white i really didn't want any other colors so for my flowers i really wanted white roses a lot of eucalyptus greenery i'll include a picture of my pinterest board at the time but that was really the main colors was just white and green so i knew that that was what i was originally looking for so I emailed a few florists with my Pinterest board and how many centerpieces we needed. And I got back quotes for over $10,000. I saw that and I said, holy heck, can I do this myself? And that's when I turned to Costco. I get all my flowers from Costco. And turns out Costco has a whole wedding section of bulk wedding flowers and they had exactly what I was looking for and so I decided that I was going to make my own wedding flowers. So to start answering a few questions, how far in advance did I have to order them? I got married on June 23rd, 2022 and I ordered my flowers on May 28th of 2022. You can order Costco's wedding flowers up to a year in advance, but you have to order a minimum of 21 days in advance. So anywhere between 21 days and a year, you can place your order and you select your exact delivery day. They recommend that you get your flowers delivered two to three days before the event. So I got mine delivered on June 21st and then I got married on June 23rd. So that gives your flowers time to open up and really look the best on the day of your event. So two to three days is what I would recommend. That's what I did and my flowers looked perfect. So I got the flowers on June 21st delivered to my house. Once you get them, you have to take care of them. So I had a ton of plastic buckets. We opened up all the flowers put them into the water with the flower food that they give you and they stay like that for one day. The rose petals I put in the fridge and everything stayed in my garage, which is a cooler place than say the top floor of my house. And then we got married at our country house. So we transported everything ourselves in the car. Everything was in the buckets with the water and brought everything to the basement of the country house, which is just a cooler place so as long as your flowers stay cool i don't think they need to be refrigerated they just need to be kept in a cool dark place with water in terms of the price i paid less than 500 dollars for everything which is so crazy considering that i got quoted over ten thousand dollars for the same thing that i was able to make myself the 40 roses were 50 dollars the bulk white rose petals, 5,000 of them, which I used to line my wedding aisle, it's so pretty, was $120. The bulk flower medley, which had gerberas, alastrumia, white roses, and baby's breath was $140. Then I also got a 20 pack of romantic rose mini bouquets, which had roses and then a few other things, and they were packaged individually in 20. They weren't big enough to make a full vase, but I put two of them together and then added from the different bulk flowers that I got to make my arrangements. Those were $150. And then the Fresh Wedding Runner 4 pack, which was the Fresh Garland, that one was $140. So that would give you the total. And then I got 20% off my whole Costco order. They were having a sale at the time where if you spent over $1,000, you got 20% off. So I also had a few other things to get from Costco. We put it all together and because you're able to choose a shipment date so far in advance, it was perfect. So we paid less than $500 for everything.
I'll include a video now of when I got the flowers and then also the TikTok video that I made of me doing all the bouquets the next day. I got all my wedding flowers from Costco and this is what they look like. The first thing I got is these. There's 20 pre-made mini bouquets. Fill the bucket with some water and then this is what all 20 of them look like. Got 5,000 white rose petals. These are my mixed medley. So there's these survey flowers, there's baby's breath, there's three other different. I love how these are packaged. They're so beautiful. These are white roses. I forget what these are called, but they open up and they're this really pretty white. The baby's breath and then these white ones. The next box is more of the white roses. Then the last thing we got is these beautiful green garlands that are gonna go on our tables. They smell so good. These are all the flowers. I can't wait to put them all together. It's gonna be so cute. This is everything I made with my Costco flowers. With the mini bouquets and the mixed medley, we made 15 of these really pretty vases where you have roses, the draberas, baby's breath. Then I did one really giant vase with 48 roses. I did this really pretty arrangement which is going on our bar shelves. It's all baby's breath. I made four smaller bouquets for the girls walking down the aisle. This is what they look like. It's seven roses, ribbon, and then a really pretty pin. And then I made my bridal bouquet, which is also just white roses with the same ribbon, but it's a little bit bigger. Overall, I have zero regrets. I had such a great time making my own flowers. I would recommend to any DIY bride, if you feel you can do it, it's really not stressful at all as long as you have someone to help you. For me, it was my mother-in-law. We did it all together the, the night before the wedding and it was just a great bonding experience. I saved a ton of money and the flowers look so beautiful the day of the wedding. It was great and I would 100% recommend. Comment below if you have any other questions that you would like me to answer about the wedding flowers or any other wedding content. I have more videos for you to watch on my TikTok at Darling Goose and you can follow me here for more. Bye!